I promise to be sh I promise to be short. Here's my speech. <laughs> oh, here you go. I'm Kathy Olawalia with uh, Beach Trends. My business gift will help you gain exposure. Let me hold that. Okay. Uh, How do you get exposure? The best things to use are items to be seen around the house or office 24 hours a day. A refrigerator or file, cabinet magnet, a wall or desk calendar, a coffee mug. Who remembers Penny Lambright of sure. Clutter Cleaners? Eh? Yeah. She thought all my stuff was clutter. Imagine that, except she saw the psychological value of magnets. She knew they'd see Clutter Cleaners magnet on the fridge, the clutter would pile up and they'd call her. This will also work when the potential client needs bone service, carpet cleaning, a well, car repair, or a diamond ring. Ballard and Ballard have a beautiful magnet and they send out postcards. If they send me their customer list, or if anybody does, I can send out their postcard and magnet together. Something to throw, something to keep. My magnet board's over there, and I have past magnets of people. Uh, calendars. I have two in my office, one in my kitchen. Shouldn't it have your logo on it? You can say, like me on Facebook. I'll send you. <laughs> Don't. I have that up, but oh, okay. You can say like me on Facebook. I'll send you a calendar. Coffee mugs, not just for coffee. Therefore, advertisement exposure. exposure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Plantner just reordered. This is where I keep on screwing in. So I got. Plantner just reordered their coffee mug. Nice. Factory was out. They were offered a more expensive mug. Plantner said no because when people call, they say, I saw your mug. Plantner started in their garage with mugs. Over the years, they moved to an office with several employees. Last week, they just bought a flatbed truck and 500 Beer koozies, coffee, beer. I would say they have the market cornered. <laughs> In fact, drinkware of any kind will help you get what, Sean? Exposure. <laughs> Plant Nerd is a woman-owned small business. Mark can tell us the tax advantages of dealing with a, a woman-owned business later. <coughs> what is a woman-owned business? Small business. Oh, I have a presentation to do. What shall I wear? Well, I do do that. And Val can show us what to wear later. But I love clothing, and this year I've picked up the Beverly Hills clothing line, before exclusive only to Nordstrom's, and some beautiful jackets that I didn't get because Mike didn't call me back. But beautiful jackets. I'll pass them around the room. <laughs> that would compliment my t-shirt customers that look a lot better. <coughs> um, another woman in a small owned business I work closely with started with six pack coolers. They landed, they landed a big account. The marketing manager is now the CEO. It was a 12-pack cooler. I couldn't find a six-pack one. And I'm their guy always. They always have a bag. But uh, around the room are the various bags I offer. Please take one. Over the years, my clients have put clocks, tools, flashlights, towels, balls, hats, t-shirts, etc. They even put a bag in a bag. I need more room up here. <laughs> Here's a bag in a bag. It's pretty cool. 
work with the floor. Okay. And here's another postcard magnet, shrink wrap. This is how it's mailed. Uh, display purple bag with stuff. Okay. Every year in June, we start the personalized yearly planner. I hope I brought it. We put the name of the person it's going to and four pages of pertinent information. I kind of pass that around the room in a notebook. They use the four pages of personal information and their planner as flyers, presentations, ads for the industry. Their brochure is a gift at Christmas. They use my input and my ideas and their customers use it all year round. I only get paid for the item, but you can't put a price on the satisfaction of creating a satisfied customer. And I did bring it. Here is last year's is going around the room. And I even have one in black and white. Now it's in full color. And we I have to tell you the story. The customer called and he said, we just stared at it when the box came for two minutes. And then we said it felt a little light. We said, they love it, of course. It's really pretty. And it has their logo on it. They said, personal information was left out. So the company has to eat it because, of course, we didn't make the mistake. It's like a $2,000 order or something. I'll pass these around the room. But mistakes do happen, and that logo on there, I made a mistake with it, and they loved it, so now that's their new logo, and that was years ago. <laughs> that was years ago. I save people money, let me tell you. Uh, people do go to trade shows. Often their customers are away from home and missing their kids. Kids are our future customers. Toys are another way to get you exposure. What's new? This little cool thing that my husband won't let me give out. He loves this flying monkey. I can't get it right yet, but I'll try. <laughs> and there's backpacks and pencils and highlighters. And there's flying saucers, uh, Eric. I've always loved this item. You can send out an invitation with it. You can send it in a letter, and it pops out. You can fly it around the room, ask people for business, something else to play with, guys. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Don't sue me. Don't sue me, because I have a lawyer. <laughs> Exposure. Anyway, it's... To risk. <laughs> nine inches of space for your logo. You can have it pop out of your planner. Do we have You can have it pop out of your planner. As an extra explosion, you can save the date. Most of all, it's fun for the whole family. Did I mention it won't put a dent in your pocketbook? And it will get you Exposure! Exposure. Hey. I have two minutes left. Well, oh no, what will I do? Yeah. Okay, well, I thought it was Get your exposure, thank you.